Representatives from the region's self-governing territories are present in Grenada for the United Nations C-24 Regional Seminar. Addressing the opening ceremony, Foreign Affairs Minister Peter David reaffirmed Grenada's commitment to the fundamental principles of the United Nations Charter on the work of the Special Committee on Decolonization. At a critical stage, with less than two years left to reach our intended milestones before the end of the third international decade. Clearly, there is a pressing need to move forward with an increased sense of urgency and with the assurance that whatever the challenge, our common political will must inspire solidarity and collective action that will produce tangible, tangible results to achieve true decolonization. The year 2020 will mark 60 years since the adoption of the United Nations General Assembly's declaration on the granting of independence to colonial countries and peoples. Minister David urged his fellow counterparts to be guided by what he referred to as three critical factors. One, renewed commitment to bringing a speedy and unconditional end to colonialism in all its, form, its forms. Two, cooperation by all parties to empower the special committee to carry out its mandate. And three, pragmatism so that our recommendations are driven by common sense and can be implemented. The committee last met a year ago. Minister David is hopeful that a conclusion will be reached before the end of 2020. We are gathered here today to put our current thinking on the table. It is not exhaustive by any means, but hopefully it is sufficiently representative of, of our comprehensive approach to accelerate the process of decolonization through the full implementation of the substantive activities mandated by the resolutions of the General Assembly. We cannot afford to fail the peoples of non-self-governing territories. We certainly do not want to have to propose again a new decade for the eradication of colonialism. Indeed, it must remain our utmost priority that we undertake our mandate with the determination that we can conclude decolonization before the end of 2020. Christina John, GBN News.